What's good guys, we're back at it again with another video. As you can see from the title today, we have a Simeon Wiltshire breakdown. Before we get into the video though, I do wanna say this. We just hit 5,000 subscribers. I really wanna say I appreciate all of you guys. Like I talk about it every time we hit a new milestone. I'll never forget those days when I was in Graham, you know, in my apartment and I had to, you know, go run to the CAF or run to the student center just to upload a video, you know, because the Wi-Fi in my apartment would take like six hours just to upload one video. Like I'll never forget those days. So I really appreciate all of you guys, all of those who've been with me since back then and all of those who are here with us now on this channel. We all about getting better and that's what we're going to continue to do. We're going to continue to grow. But as you can see by the title today, we have a Simeon Wiltshire breakdown. This is a player who I've seen his name across the channel. I don't know how many times over these last couple of weeks and rightfully so, because I don't know if you guys heard, he actually was, you know, named first team all peach jam has been playing at an extremely high level. And, you know, I recently just dropped the, where is it right there? The Gus Yaldin breakdown. He's on city rocks. And I was, you know, I was watching those games and I'm like, dang, Simeon hooping. I definitely got to come with that breakdown. That's what we're coming with today. I'm not going to hold you guys up. Let's jump into it. So Simeon, we've seen him on the channel before. I've come with two previous breakdowns on him a couple months ago. You know, this is a 6'4 to 6'5 guard. North Carolina commit, extremely fluid with the ball in his hands, extremely potent on offense. And we know he's a New Jersey guard, so we already know all players from up there are extremely tough, hard-nosed, and they're going to get after it every time they step on the floor. First thing I even want to talk about, though, when we're breaking down Simeon is his fluidity with the ball in his hands and his lack of wasted movement, right? I talk about it a lot. A lot of the best players in the country, regardless of class, one of the things that differentiate them from other players is their fluidity of movement. It doesn't look like it's forced. They're not wasting their dribbles. Every single move they make is to get to a certain spot to take a certain shot. Simeon plays the game exactly like that. I want you guys to notice over these first couple clips, count his dribbles from the time he touches the ball. He takes five dribbles from when he touches the ball to get to his spot, which is what a pull up, a part of his game that he really likes to get to. On this next possession in transition, it also took him five dribbles to get from one side of the court to the rim. With every dribble, he's putting pressure on the defense. The defender is backpedaling already. He's not just bringing down, just coasting. He's putting pressure on the defense. So when he just decides to explode, he's right by you, no wasted movement, easy layup. Even on this next possession, he takes seven dribbles. Again, every bounce that he takes is a move. He's going somewhere with it, or he's setting the defender up to go this way so he can come back left so that he can finish. Simeon is also extremely crafty around the rim, like a lot of guards that are from Jersey or New York. Just a lot of players from up north, like Isaiah Washington. They got all the bag, all the different finishes. They're extremely creative when they get in the paint in terms of understanding how to contort their body so they can get a clean look to score. I want you guys to start to watch these. Simeon snakes the ball screen, gets the switch onto the big, fakes him out, goes baseline, but also in that moment understands that, okay, I have a defender coming over to block my shot and I have the big coming from behind trying to block it. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna elevate and finish with my left hand, which causes the defender that was coming from this side of the floor, he can't come over because I'm using the rim as a shield. And also the big behind me, he can't even touch me. I'm using my inside hand and the big wasn't long enough if he tries to block the shot, it's going to be an and one. Extremely crafty around the rim. On this next possession, he gets cut off by a smaller guard and instantly has the wherewithal to be able to spin, hang in the air long enough to be able to flip it off the glass and finish the easy lay. There aren't many guards that are able to contort their body like that, especially at 6'4", 6'5". Remember, this isn't a smaller guard. This is a bigger player able to do things like this. Even here, when he's in transition in the two-on-one, because he does have this size and he has the skill, the craftiness like I just talked about, he has the ability to elevate and stretch out with his left hand so he can still finish in traffic when the defender is right there. Showed you guys a little in the beginning, but Simeon can also shoot the ball as well, and he really likes that pull-up. Remember, it only took him five dribbles to get to the other side of the court to get to his pull-up because he understands where his spots are, and he plays at his own pace. Watch right here. He gets the steal. I wanted to also tell you guys that he does a great job staying locked in on the defensive end. He gets the steal. Like I said, he's playing at his own pace, coming down, slow and methodical. I know where I want to get to right above the free throw line so I can get right in rhythm and get right into my pull up. Easy knockdown. He knows where his spots are, like I said, and he doesn't take a lot of dribbles. He's not wasting a lot of time to get there. Here, he comes down in rhythm, understands the defender doesn't want to step up. Okay, Hezzy, I'm going to get right into it. Pull up knockdown and as i let the clip run again this kid is locked in on the defensive end gets another steal and i want you guys to watch his bounces again 
doesn't dribble the ball too much and when he does he's making a move with it to get downhill even though he misses the layup he created that opportunity for his teammate to get the offensive rebound for them to get the bucket even when he's not scoring even if he doesn't make a layup or he doesn't make a pull up just his effect on the defense because they understand what he's capable of doing can change an entire game remember what i talked about gravity with trey green just being on the floor you're having every set of defensive eyes on you watch here as sim comes off the ball screen even though the big is right there giving a soft hedge, that corner defender still feels like he has to get over because, oh, if he gets by him, he's going to make the layup, which allows him to make that easy pass to his teammate for the open three. A lot of players don't realize this. Once you get to a point where you score at a certain level, you don't even have to score to affect the game at that point because just the thought in the defender's head like, oh, he could do this will make them move or shift the wrong way. All you got to do is fire a pass to your teammate who's going to be wide open. All they got to do is knock down the shot. Simeon's ability to get downhill and there aren't many people who can stay in front of him allow him to get a lot of deep paint touches. Even on this possession, this pass might seem simple. I promise you it's not right hand off the bounce while leaning out of bounds. Watch how as he drives, the entire defense shifts, which allows his teammates when they move the ball to get a wide open three. Because of his ability to get downhill and draw defensive attention every time he comes down the floor on offense. I already showed you defensively, he's locked in, he's in the passing lanes, he has active hands, can get steals. Once he gets out in transition, like I said, he's a decent athlete, he can finish above the rim. All in all, this is a player who can knock down the mid-range jumper, can knock down the open three, finish in traffic, right hand, left hand, extremely crafty around the rim, also can get a lot of deep paint touches, which creates a lot of open looks for his teammates. He's definitely a top 15 player in this 2023 class. I'm gonna have to redo that top 10 because there has been movement especially after peach jam and over these last couple weeks there has been moving in my top 10 there have been some players that i feel like need to get moved up we'll say caleb foster is one of those players and sim is also probably going to be one of those players like share subscribe turn on post notifications i appreciate you guys watching remember if you want the subscriber breakdowns or the one-on-one -on -one evaluations that go on the channel that i post on this channel just like all of these in my website in the description also if you have any like individual questions about aau or you know how to go into college basketball things like that also hit my link for noodle in the description follow me on instagram twitter tiktok i appreciate you watching again i'll see you guys next time for the next video